There's a lot of things you can do to mess up your rest days, but there are also a lot of good things that you can do as well. So let's talk about some of those good things. So active rest is incredibly crucial and incredibly important for your rest days. This is some light recovery exercise. It could be uh, going out for a longer walk than normal. It could be uh, doing a stationary bike at a really low speed. Uh, maybe you're doing some light gardening or light chores around your house. Um, I will have a video up on my channel on um, some of the good rest day activities that you can do when it comes to active rest. But just know that anything light, anything where you're moving, just general physical activity, getting up, going, you know, moving some boxes around your home, anything that is not sitting down is a thumbs up. Just don't push yourself too hard. Remember, it's a rest day. On top of active rest, nutrition is incredibly crucial for rest days. So this is a time where maybe if you are normally really, really busy getting in your workouts and stressed about, oh, I gotta do my two hour workout, you can spend more time actually kind of uh, prepping out your nutrition, maybe for the entire week, paying more attention on getting plenty of water eating lots of high protein to help you recover and uh, adapt for um, from that workout you did, right? Fruits and vegetables, lots of micronutrients and fiber, all of these things together will add to that recovery capacity to allow you to boost your overall rest on your rest days, get the most out of your rest days and allow you to achieve more muscle, more endurance, more strength, when thinking about other things that we can add, sleep, man, I, I almost wish I didn't even have to say this, but um, we want to sleep more and we all know this, but sometimes it can become um, too hard to try to get more sleep in. So when you are thinking about getting the most out of your rest days, you can just get in maybe 30 more minutes of sleep, going to bed a little bit more sleep taking a nap, maybe during your normal workout time, not too long so it messes up your sleep later in the day, but the whole purpose of all of this rest days is to help you recover so the next workout can be better. And going to bed earlier, getting a nap to help your body recover will 100% absolutely, absolutely help you to recover for your next workout. Another thing that will greatly help you to recover for your next workout is focusing on other aspects of health. Now, I'm not saying that working out isn't uh, mentally and emotionally engaging, but it is highly uh, focused on your physical nature, your physical being. Now, I think another good thing that you can do on your rest days is to focus on maybe your mental and emotional health, so kind of the other aspects of health, because if those are in check, if those are balanced as well, they're going to make your workouts incredibly better. So some of the things that I like to do to focus on my mental and emotional health, um, specifically for myself, I love time in nature and meditating. That's crucial. I actually do that every day, um, not just on rest days, uh, but you know, it's not something you would need to do every day. I would recommend it though. Um, counseling is a good one. Maybe you're just spending more time with friends in general outside of the gym. So this could be a time where you dedicate uh, getting coffee with some friends, right? Um, maybe you could spend some time journaling and just writing down your thoughts and how you feel because these are ways that you will actually be able to reduce overall stress in your life. And if you're able to reduce overall stress in your life, that is going to help you recover better from your workouts. Even if that stress is not related to your workouts, for example, if you work out really hard, that's one stress. If you have a relationship that's really stressful, that's another stress. If you are low in self-esteem, that's another stress. All of these things can build up, so if you're able to kind of use your rest days as a way to leverage more mental and emotional activities, that can be a springboard into boosting your overall recovery for your subsequent workouts. Um, it's also a good time to catch out with some hobbies. 
So maybe you like gardening, maybe you like collecting certain things, uh, maybe you like meeting and looking at old cars and stuff, right? Uh, the whole purpose of going to the gym is to get healthier and get fitter so you can enjoy activities outside of the gym. So the rest day is a good way to kind of take advantage of those hobbies that uh, maybe you weren't able to do before you went to the gym because you didn't have enough energy, you didn't feel good enough to do it, and you're now able to take advantage of those different things. Um, gardening would be a good example. Maybe you didn't have enough energy to garden, um, or maybe take your dog out, uh, or play with your kids, right? But now you have energy from the gym, go take advantage of that, right? Your rest day, you're still trying to get um, some physical activity. That's also in two. Uh, a really, really good question to ask yourself to kind of wrap this up is what can I do today that will help my workout tomorrow? What can I do today that will help my workout in a month? If you are taking a rest day, decompressing, easing some of that mental stress, and also from this, giving your body the ability to recover through proper sleep and nutrition is going to be the answer to this question. So consider that for your own specific like, like the video if this is giving you some good value.